Happy Monday. Monday's a nice copy day. Well, this Monday is. Welcome back. Like, subscribe. Uh, do those other things. Like and subscribe. And watch. I know I haven't been around for a while. The flu has been in my house for two weeks. On and off. One person would get it, then another person, then it, they would get better, and then it would pass along, and then they'd get sick again, and and then I had it, and then, oh my god, <laughs> it's just been, it's been chaotic. Um, I also wrote a book, so that happened. Uh, it's just, I'm editing it right now, and then sending it back out to get beta read, and then we shall see. Anywho, that's interesting. I'll let you know when that drops. But anywho, I wanted to welcome everybody back to Lost My Ducks. Sorry, it's been a while. Chaos. Um, there's going to be some changes because I only want to do the podcast once a week. And I think it's going to come out on Fridays. And maybe have a Monday show too. I don't know. Or like a special event show. Just because, like, it's a lot of work. And I have my channel to run. I also wrote a book that I have to edit because, well, that's going to take a while. I want to have it, like, published by the end of February. Fingers crossed. Anywho. And it's, like, it's a novel. <laughs> I'm at, like, 60-something thousand words right now. And, like, yeah, I know it's going to be a bit longer because there's a couple things I just need to add for, like, some context and then take away. And I reread The Elements of Style, which is kind of nice. And uh, I have it in my basement somewhere, but I was too lazy to go look for it. So I just bought the Kindle copy for a dollar. I know. <laughs> I'm, like, the worst. I have it because I you have to buy it. It's one of the text textbooks that uh you buy when you're doing journalism or broadcast news which is what i took in college um so i also have the bn style guide the broadcast news it's not a style guide it's bn broadcast news how to write news um and of course my version doesn't have like podcasts and stuff in it because it didn't exist back then but it's it's interesting how similar the broadcast news textbook is to the Elements of Style book. And it's nice because a lot of my writing is already clear and concise. So it's like I don't have to go through and remove all the extra words because that's what is drilled into your head in news. No extra words. No extra words no extra words and you're like okay i get it <laughs> anyways um i've been doing that so i also like i have all this other content that i'm ready to you know record or put up i have the crochet videos going now which i guess there's some people who like them i don't know um so yeah, I have those going and just there's a lot of stuff going on because I was finding the podcast was getting a bit tedious every day. Not the thinking of something to say, but actually wanting to say it. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Um, yeah, makes sense to me. Because like some of the things like I didn't exactly want to talk about every day. And then it was like, okay, so we've got to talk about this. So I figured I'd just like put it all in one big one. Um, I want to start interviewing some people. I think that would be a lot of fun. So I'm lining that up. I'm lining some guests up. I haven't done an interview with somebody in years so it's gonna be a little rough I think the last interview I did with somebody was a physics professor and that was six years ago 
maybe seven years ago now. So yeah, it it's going to be a little rough. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll just like knock it out of the park. Maybe like the skills will just click back in and because interviewing is an art. Okay. When you know how to interview somebody properly, it, the interview is entertaining. It's engaging. It's not boring. Your guest isn't bored. You're not bored. So it's been a while. Um, there's some really good interviewers out there and there's some really, really terrible ones. Um, good interviewers, Graham Norton. I, he's entertaining to watch and his interviewees usually seem to be having a good time. Uh, Craig Ferguson was fun to watch. Um, God, who else? I like watching, I think it's, is it Jimmy Fallon? Is it, or is it the other one? I don't remember. Anyways, I was going to say the one with the beard, but like, no, I'm pretty sure it's Jimmy Fallon, not Jimmy Kimmel. Oh God. I don't know. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> Come on, guys, <laughs> look a little different. <laughs> the other guy, you know, like, um, yeah, there's some really good interviewers out there and there's some really, really terrible ones. Um, one of my favorite interviewers ever was actually, uh, someone named Ian Punnett and he would, so when I first started in radio, I of course was doing the overnight shift cause that's how you start in radio. And he was on coast to coast and, uh, he would do like Sunday night and it was, he was my favorite because he wasn't a lunatic. Um, <laughs> right. And he would do like really cool interviews. Like he interviewed one of the guys from SEAL team six that, uh, infiltrated Osama bin Laden. I think it was, um, he also did an interview. He did one night where it was just everybody like he wanted truckers and uh police officers and sheriffs and all those people who worked the overnight shift on the highway to call in that was some of the eeriest stuff i have ever listened to on the radio like it was creepy um but he did some really 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 good interviews and it was really nice he was refreshing okay so ian punnett um Speaking of coast to coast, actually, George Norrie's a really good interviewer in the fact that he can take, you know, hi, I'm Ed the Talking Horse and I identify as a horse, but I'm a person and I live in a stable. He can take that guy and he can talk to him and it doesn't come across like he thinks he's crazy. Like he actually is able to talk to these people. And you know, according to Ed the Horseman, he's not crazy. He just identifies as a horse and that's fine. Uh, but he's, he, George Norrie has this ability to interview these people and it's genuine curiosity and he makes it, he gives these people some sort of validation and it's nice. It, it, he's kind, he's very kind in his interviews. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to pull off interviewing people again. It, it has been a while and I think I'm better at talking to myself than I am at interviewing people, but we shall see. You guys let me know. Um, my cats like pulled apart their toy box. Bad cats. <laughs> I don't have kids. So, um, yeah. Anywho. So yeah, changes to the channel and just like, I know we had a changes to the channel video pop up and I'm going to take that one down and I'm going to replace it with this one. And, uh, just because like, it's, it's important to me to one, keep stuff fresh to not put too much onus on myself because then I get this defeated feeling. And that has to probably do with all my mental health stuff and being crazy so I know it's such a loaded word now isn't it <laughs> that's okay <laughs> I did dye my roots like a purpley red so we're back at that stage of crazy 
I haven't gone totally red yet. I don't know if I'm going to. I mean, I like my blonde hair. I don't know if I could go, like, totally red. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I think I would look a little weird as a redhead. I was a redhead once. It was fun. I'm not gonna lie. It was a lot of fun to be a redhead, but, like... I don't know. Apparently you have to have a pretty bold personality to pull it off. I don't know if I do. I think I do. I'll be fine. Anywho, I know this isn't a long podcast. It's not a short podcast. It's just like mid-length, right in the middle. And um, I really appreciate everybody like kind of sticking around through all of this. And like, I'm still getting subscribers. It's just, it's been crazy. Um, And I guess like, yeah, people get sick and people don't feel good. And that's just part of life. And... I'm glad that there's people around who understand and I'm glad that there's people who are coming and I'm really glad that YouTube changed its like little shorts program thing um, because I have a lot of shorts that do well and I don't make any money off of them so thanks YouTube I appreciate it <laughs> anywho um, yeah I don't know what else like when the book comes out, like, I'm so concentrating on that, and I really hope you guys, wa like, buy it. I'm gonna put it on, uh, Kindle. Amazon Kindle and, like, ebooks. Like, because I don't want to do hard copies yet. I want to see how that goes first. Like, how many people buy this, and, like, yeah. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it'll do really well, because, like, everybody buys ebooks. I quite like book books and I actually just bought myself a book because everybody told me to buy this. So I did. I also bought it on hard copy because I had a fight with Kindle and it wouldn't let me purchase it on Kindle for whatever reason. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's like this other book I wanted to read. It's uh, this lady I found her on Twitter. She put this book out. Um... And I wanted to read it, and it's not letting me purchase it. No matter where I go, like Amazon.ca slash ebooks doesn't let me purchase it there. Um, if I want to purchase a hard copy, I can't get it until, oh God, February, I think. And I'm like, okay, you know, like, maybe I will purchase the hard copy and just wait till February. And, but it has to ship from the States and it's like, will I get dinged and will bad guys happen and all kinds of stuff. So like Beans is worried about it and <sighs> anywho, I have some Velvet Morning by Nancy Sinatra and that other guy stuck in my head right now. <laughs> oh my God. Some Velvet Morning when I'm straight. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever heard that song, but, like, <laughs> I played it for Ian, and he was like, that song sounds like weed. <laughs> like, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I also had somebody, like, comment about my teeth, and they're like, why are they, like, these are my natural teeth, except for this one. That one's a crown. Uh, but all of these are, they're mine. They're always, they've always been that white and they've always been that big. I actually have like two, two teeth on the top and two teeth on the bottom were removed. Like I don't have as many molars, um, because my teeth are so big and I don't have wisdom teeth. Um, yeah. And apparently that's an EDS thing. And I had no idea. Like, I don't think you understand how big my teeth are. Um, the root canal for this one, like, it, my root came up to my nose. So, like, it's all the way in my face. And, like, my, my wisdom teeth were as big as from my nail up on my thumb. They were as big as my thumb, like, in there. So they had to, like, break them into pieces and pull them out. And, yeah, I don't have any room in my mouth. Like, it's always, it's just overcrowded all the time. 
and I've had braces and I've had a retainer and I've had all this other stuff and it's like uh, it just is what it is so that's why my teeth are so big and white and shiny because I'm genetically screwed up anyways and I drink coffee and stuff and my teeth are still fairly white anywho Anywho, not important, but yeah, that's what's going on, and uh, when the book comes out, I will definitely make sure it's available, like, everywhere, and so I don't have these issues that I'm having trying to buy other books. Beanie! Beanie. Anywho, the cat's destroying things. Okay, so that's it. Like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for some interviews that I'm going to set up. And the podcast will be every Friday now. So there might be other ones during the day, during the week. I'm just waiting for... Beans! <laughs> okay, she got her toy. I thought she was going to knock over. I have this, like, stack of stuff for, like, parcels that need to go out for Christmas. Oh, God, I have to do that today. Anywho, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for sticking with me. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!